All right, boys. Let's look at the global ad patch notes. They're finally up on Inven. Guild League changes. New accessory. Sea Fog Ring. Imperial Horse Developments. Kazarka Barrier Quest change. Life Skilling. Uh, life Skill kit, Crystal Crafting. Old Moon Sensor Crafting. Central Market changes. Monster changes. Quest changes. Mountain Ship Improvements. Other changes and class changes. And then Scholar. Ooh, Scholar. All right. So the following has been added to the Guild League content. Guild League rankings. Okay, so now there's the guild. They've added Guild League rankings now. When you first add, start the Guild League, your Guild League will start with 400. Uh, if you win or lose, your score will change depending on the result, and the matchmaking will take place uh, according to a score range. All right, so it's kind of like AOS, guys. It's kind of like AOS. Uh, the Guild Battlefield looks like there's Navarn Step, uh, Northern Guard Camp, um, and then there's League Results here. When the game ends, you can check your various information or participants in the match. Oh, so you can see who's griefing. Yeah. Sick. You can absolutely see who's griefing. If a match is not played uh, for a certain period or certain score section, the score is periodically deducted depending on the score section. Okay, sure. New accessory, Sea Fog Ring. It's only got 12 AP on it. That's a low amount of... Uh, Wait, that's is that DP? Sea Fog Ring spreads at dawn. A ring contains special energy was discovered among Cox Pirates inside of Cave and Paddock's Island. This ring imbued with this energy of the dense fog is called a Sea Fog Ring among the Cox Pirates. Kalia, what are you... Oh, you just linked to the... Okay. Oh, it's a DP... <gasps> no more Jesus rings, boys? The best in slot evasion ring is no longer a green ring. Ask and you shall receive. Oh, this is huge for DP memes. This is huge. Oh, evasion 12 plus 13 at pen. Hold on. 12 plus 13. Let me see. That is... Oh, well, there's only 21 on this one. And then there's 25 on this one. It's not a whole lot better. Bro, why is it so, like, garbage, bro? Like, bro, give it a little bit more. Yeah, it gives you 12 more DP, though. That's actually huge. You're right, though. It gives 12 DP as opposed to, like, the sheet uh, 7. But, like, the, bro, does the number on your DP matter? Like, you're, you, once you get over the bracket, all it matters is all your, like, your stats together. Depends on how much it costs. You know it's gonna you, you know it's gonna be a Baja blast. Imperial horse del delivery improvements. Uh it's been improved so that the Imperial delivery of horses can be used at the stable keepers instead of just certain stable keepers in large cities. For adventurers who enjoy training, they designate training routes along large cities to conveniently deliver the horses they have raised. We hope this improvement will help adventurers enjoy training the horses at various locations to deliver them to the Imperial Court without having to move them to a large city. That's actually kind of a big change. That's a W change. It used to be that only in major cities, like the capital city of each region, uh, could, would allow you to Imperial Vendor horses. Now it seems like there's just every stable keeper. That honestly opens up the map as far as like auto pathing goes. Uh, that's pretty cool. I'm curious to see what players come up with. Uh, Kazarka Barrier Quest Change. Uh, among the contents of the Barrier of Infestation, the following quest of changes follows. It has been changed to proceed as a general quest rather than as a weekly quest. Uh, and the quest goal has been changed as follows. The quest to kill Kazarka, which will be completed one and two, has been simplified so it can be completed through conversation. Back in my day, we actually used to have to go kill Kazarka. How is this any better? So yeah, so now just one and two, you just like hear the story. So you just chat with the NPC. And three, four, and five are the same. I don't even know why they're bothering with this. Like, I don't know how this is any better than it was before. Yeah, they're literally just, you're just talking with the NPC and it completes your quest for the week. Oh, all right. So, sounds good, I guess. If you lose the quest item, you can receive it again. The quest reward is, has been changed as follows. Yeah, no, it's basically the same as it was before, guys. It's just the first two weeks are like way easier. Uh, life skill crystal crafting. Um, so now you can just craft the vital crystal and the life crystal. Remember, they condense the, the life scaling crystals, boys, uh, into two crystals. One restores EXP, or I mean, one gives you EXP, 
Uh, I think this one's the EXP one. This one's the mastery one. Um, but yeah, one gives you mastery, one gives you EXP for every light stone, or for every single one. So now you can craft them with a forest crystal, 50 traces of the forest, 50 magical shards, 100 lightstone crystals, uh, 10 spirit leaves for the vital crystal, and 10 bloody tree knots for the life crystal. Yeah, whatever. Sounds good. Get a forest crystal. Obtain a crystal. Easy peasy. The rest of it's really kind of a joke. Old moon sensor crafting. Oh my goodness. Please give us quality of life update on this. A new recipe for the old moon sensor has been added. This is what you need for the T10, guys. This is like T10 attempts. Allowing you to craft the old moon sensor in different ways depending on the materials you have. Among the two current production methods, uh, the method of making the old moon sensor using pure minerals uh, and the melody of the stars as the main uh, materials is widely used. However, this method requires a metal, uh, metal melting agent. They're talking about metal solvent, which makes it difficult uh, for to easily purchase for low-level materials to make. Yeah, so it's, in other words, it's just tough to make it because you need to constantly combine stuff with metal solvent to get the pure crystal that you need. Uh, the new crafting method added to this update crafting method that relieves the inconvenience of purchasing materials, blah, blah, blah. Okay, all right, let's see what they did. Let me just see what they did. A new recipe has been added. Now it's an old moon sensor mold, which you needed before. 300 lightstone crystals, 400 old moon alchemy catalysts, which I'm pretty sure you can buy from a vendor. 1,000 copper ingots, 1,000 tin ingots. That's that's like probably the easiest one to put together. I'm not sure how cost efficient that necessarily is, but like this one is definitely a lot easier. Copper and tin ingots are basically always going to be available in the market. I'm not sure how much for 400 old moon alchemy catalyst is. That should be, I think you buy that from a vendor. Vital equals mastery life equals EXP. Okay. Three mil each. Okay, so that's really expensive. That's 700 million. Don't worry. Copper ingots are always on the market, guys. People have these available all the time. So as I said, the trick is to just have 80,000 copper ingots just laying around. Um, And so, yeah, this is just a W for me. I'll probably just sell all these for max price. Um, And the rest of you can. So I, I will provide the entire market with copper ingots. Um, easy W. Easy W. What about 10 ingots? Are those going too? Yeah, honestly, uh, e easy dub for me. Um, normally, guys, this sits on the market, but I get, yep, I guarantee you that people just bought them all. It's the same like two or three people just buying them all off the market immediately. That's actually kind of a W because you can just AFK process that stuff um, and profit tremendously off your worker empire. So I'm probably gonna AFK. Honestly, AFK processing might be huge if those if that price goes up goes up a lot. Uh, central market changes. It looks like the number of a uh, number of the following 15 item, items registered in the central market is large. Maximum quantity can be purchased. Okay, so in other words, if there's a lot of this stuff on the market, you can buy more of it as a at a time so that you don't have to like buy such a small amount at a time. Uh, burnt remnants of the spirit, green coral, gold coral, white coral, jade uh, jade of time. I'm not sure what jade of time, jade coral ingots probably. Uh, blue whale mate, uh, blue whale oil, blue whale tendon, uh, thick turo blood. Uh, encroached earth, the remnants of the burning sun. I'm not sure what remnants of the burning sun is. Uh, concentrated magical blackstone weapon. Concentrated magical blackstone armor. Source of the wind and uh, sweet mead. Uh, this looks like beer, I think. Sweet mead is probably beer. I'm not sure what source of the wind is. Uh, everlasting herb. Herbs central market upper limit has been re has been changed uh, from 300k to 1 million. Okay, is that even is that even relevant? It is not relevant. Nobody cares. Uh, monster changes. City of the Dead. Locations of some of the monster hordes uh, have been corrected. All right. Thornwood. Decky of Thornwood. Ahab Demonic Warrior has been modified so that it does not make attacks that grant beneficial effects to the opponent. Okay. Uh, that makes Decky of Thornwood a little bit easier. 
Uh, and Israhid Plateau. This is the uh, new area that we don't have yet. Uh, Sakarian has been changed to no longer attack uh, in a condition that ignores the defender's um, super armor or frontal guard. Uh, is basically what that means. An issue where it was possible to intermittently in situations where it was possible has been... Okay, so just fixing bug fixes with it. Quest changes. All right, random quest changes. Ship improvements. When boarding a large ship, arriving in a location where you set navigation has been improved to stop at the arrival point, even if you're using the breezy sail skill. Oh, you mean I'm not just going to sail at full speed into the harbor like a scene out of Lost World? Uh, Y'all remember what I'm talking about, right? Like the boat just comes out of nowhere and just plows through the dock and we're like, we have arrived. Sweet. Um, all right, so I fixed a couple other issues. When transporting a mount, selectable nodes have been improved uh, to be displayed, started by territory. Okay, morning, Shannon. When transporting a mount, you can go directly to the list of the territory displayed in the UI. Okay, so transporting a mount is easier now. Sweet. Uh... I'm not sure exactly what these item changes. The rewards and acquisition conditions for the following items have been changed. Not really sure what this means. Oh, wow. The supply of mysterious accessories has stopped. And the merchants no longer sell the mysterious accessory. So they're actually basically removing Jesus rings from the game. And these are those rolly boxes, I think, that you buy in town from the vendor. It's been changed so that the Haas ring can be purchased from the blacksmith for 150k coins. Never mind. This is the Jesus ring. I'm almost positive. And now you can just buy the Jesus ring from the shop. This is actually a huge W because I hated rolling all of the rolly boxes over and over and over again and then throwing all the stuff away just to get Jesus rings. Big W change. Big W change. Those boxes are always profit. Get out of here. They take forever. Um... But honestly, with the new ring in the game, bro, that's what we're all going to want to go get anyway, but it's going to take a while for it to populate on the market. Uh, Cutscene changes, nobody cares. Node War and Siege changes. The description of opportunities to participate in the base wars displayed in the guild window has been improved to better reflect reality. Okay. Uh, system changes, bug fixes. Oh, my God. Oh, scholar changes. <laughs> okay. Hammer to the knee. Absolute. The duration and attack speed of the effect... Uh, for 10 seconds in Hammer of the Knee has been increased to 15. Oh, thank God, bro. I can actually have the the combo basically the entire time. Okay, good. Golden Thunder. When using the golden th the flow Golden Thunder st skill, the attack range has been changed to increase uh, depending on the falling height. Okay, this is the space bar. Drop height one, drop height two, drop height three. Oh, okay, so you're just doing more damage. Oh, look at the... Does the animation change? No, the animation looks like the same. It looks a lot wider, though. Yeah, look at the AoE, guys. Oh. I don't know. It looks the same. Am I crazy? It looks the same in every single event. Yeah, it looks exactly the same. Yeah, I get, I, I'm not sure. Hammer spin. Skill's been changed as follows. The 15% reduction in all speeds for five seconds upon successful hit has been removed. Okay, so no more slow on that. The effect has been moved to the potential energy skills. Well, potential energy is down E, I think. Uh, the health recovery effect upon successful hit has been added. 40, 50, 60, 70. Oh, that's good. That's huge. So you get a bunch of health back for using hammer spin. That's really good. Potential energy. This is the down E. This is your ultimate, I'm pretty sure. Um, upon successful hitting, a 20% uh, attack Caspi for five seconds has been added. Oh, oh, a reduction in 20. Okay, so now it's a slow. So your ultimate ability when it's not using the ultimate is a slow. Um, the plus 10... To 20, effect for defense increases for 10 seconds when using the skill has been removed. This effect has been moved to the core fusion skill. Okay, core fusion. Plus 20 uh, effects 
for all defenses for 10 seconds has been added to the core fusion skill. Which skill is core fusion? Let me check it, boys. Uh, gravity blink. When using the gravity blink, skill has been changed to start moving immediately as soon as the hammer is thrown. Thank goodness. This is much faster. This is much better. That honestly makes the class a lot more competitive in PvP as well. Um, so we need to know what core fusion... Oh, so this is just your C ability. This is just the swap. Yeah, that's like whatever, bro. No, I guess. All right. Well, we'll see what uh, we'll see what kind of happens with that. I'll just stay on her. We might need her. A plus twenty effect to all defenses for ten seconds. All right. So I'm gonna have to work this in so you get plus twenty DP to your C. Okay. C swap is good for PVP. Yeah, I mean, it's solid, but, like, we'll see. Um, one giant leap, uh, and the black and the ultimate version of it. The movement distance of one giant leap has been increased, and the jump height has been decreased. Big W, we take those. Flow golden pillar. The skill has been improved to smoothly link with the main skill weapon. Oh, this is just your RMB. Yeah, it's just your RMB, boys. Like, whatever. All right, gravity press. The movement speed of gravity press has been increased. Uh, when using the gravity press skills, it's been improved so that you climb up slopes more smoothly in the air. Gravity press. Okay, this is the iframe skill that's never used in PvE. Okay, got, got it. All right. Uh, the action speed of the following skills has been changed. Ah, what do you mean by change? Hopefully that means, like, quickened. This is basically every one of her skills. The action speed of the skills has been changed. Hopefully that means it's sped up. This is every single skill in the kit, basically, that you use. Um, golden Boon, the description of the Golden Boon skill has been changed to be more detailed. Uh, when the following motion is displayed, it's been changed to result in a light landing motion when close to the ground, okay? The issue where the skills flow golden barrier and flow golden path could be activated even when the two-handed hammer was not equipped has been fixed, all right? The issue when the demonstration video for golden vine skill uh, has been shown in Elvia space distortion skill has been corrected. Okay, uh, honestly, huge scholar changes, guys. That's the end of the global lab patch. Massive scholar changes, boys. That's like, it's really big. Like some of these are like, whatever. These are good adjustments. But honestly, it's going to come down to, like, your movement is quicker, and then it looks like all of your skills are are increasing in speed. So the class should play a lot faster after the Global Lab patch uh, makes it to live. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Um, aside from that, some guild, guild changes, uh, central market changes. There's a new Old Moon sensor update, uh, like, like recipe. Um, crafting crystals was changed. Kazarka barrier quest changed like yeah whatever okay sure uh but the big thing is honestly the the sea fog ring no more jesus rings this is now the best end game ring in the game for late game uh dp memes uh is definitely the 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 fog ring uh, honestly makes paddock super relevant now the sea fog ring makes paddocks uh though if you're grinding for your, or if you want your merchant ring you should go to paddocks right now this is going to increase the silver per hour paddocks pretty dramatically, at least in the short term, uh, until the market floods because all the DP memes get their rings done. But yeah, absolutely. Big global lab change, boys. Big, big global. Oh, yeah, and then the GVGs. And then the GVG changes. Big global lab changes, guys. Oh, dude, my, 